a key commit comes in along the offensive line mat. 6'7", 304, one Elijah Page out of Phoenix, Arizona, offensive tackle. So the big news here is, you know, he commit decommitted from Notre Dame recently. Uh, and so this is a flip from, from Notre Dame. So Notre Dame doesn't get an offensive lineman. USC does. Like it's so double, it's not just get the getting the prospect himself, but it's Notre Dame doesn't get it. So that's just a fantastic win for Lincoln Riley over and against Marcus Freeman. And I have to think that Notre Dame's uh, sluggish start to the 2022 season played a role in this. You know, if Notre Dame beats Ohio State, are we here having this conversation? I don't think so. So, or you know, and, and also Notre Dame's offense looking really bad. And Tommy Rees as offensive coordinator, not really uh, having a strong start to the season. And, you know, games against Gene Chizik and North Carolina don't count, right, Mark? Those are the rules. So, um Notre Dame's sluggish star, I think, played a role in Elijah Page's decommitment from Notre Dame. USC and Lincoln Riley snap him up. And uh, USC football analyst and recruiting uh, expert Chris Trevino mentioned uh, earlier today after the commitment that USC has not signed a consensus four-star offensive lineman since 2019. So he haven't landed the five-star yet, but a consensus four-star. That's been rare in these parts. USC has it. You can see the momentum building under Lincoln Riley. 2019 doesn't seem, folks, doesn't seem like a long time ago, but start adding up the classes. We're working on 2023 here. So that's considerable for USC, you know, the the home of Anthony Munoz and many others. Uh, 2019 was before the pandemic. So like that is 10 million years ago. So <laughs> yes, in, in many ways, in the life <laughs> that we now lead, it was a million years ago. But uh, yeah, on first thought 2019. Okay, not a lot. But uh, when you're talking about stacking recruiting classes, and you're talking about a key position, uh, of course, the entire offensive line, but offensive tackles, you need those elite guys. Uh, the big programs get the elite offensive tackles in USC without any consensus four stars, meaning uh, across the board from all the major services, four stars and Elijah Page with 34 offers uh, coming in as the uh, 30th rated offensive tackle in the country, uh, just outside the top 300, according to 247 Sports and the seventh rated player in the state of Arizona. So that's where we stand looking forward to 2023.